capital T u plus okay now doesn't it look combination of the two so this is a diffusion term and this is a term looks like wave equation except that instead of c i have put u right and this equation is nonlinear or linear it's a nonlinear because it involves product of u okay yeah, well u partial u so it is all nonlinear so, how do I solve it numerically? Now, I just want to give you the homework. So, if I set this to 0, these are the exact solution. Okay. I can show that the solution looks like this, okay, this equation. Asymptotically, if you wait for long enough time, my solution of u as a function of x looks like this. Okay. Uh, you can easily show, well you just put u as a linear function it will satisfy this okay. so this is a linear function or slope is 1 by t now but i want to solve it in a computer now actually what are what are these called you, you may know this this is a very important equation okay uh, so velocity is zero here is increasing but here velocity is negative. So, imagine cars are going faster, faster, faster at, at these positions and here it is coming in the opposite direction faster, faster, faster and they do collide and what it makes a shock, this is called shock. So, this is a collision shock. Now, uh, so, uh, we can get this from here, but not quite. So, numerically if you solve, you will get something like this. Okay, you will not get a shock, because these are mathematical solutions, you will never get in the computer. Okay, so, let us solve it in a computer. So, I want to discretize it like this. Now, uh, I will write this as a initial value problem. Let us do find a difference. So, initial value problem will be u n plus 1 minus i at position i, i n by delta t. So, this is a nonlinear term. So, put everything in the right hand side minus plus. Okay. Now, you need to compute this numerically. Okay. So, you can compute this by uh, some scheme. So, you need to compute the derivative. So, use central difference, which is uh, would be a problem, but uh, so central difference will be u i. So, this is at position i, uh, u i plus 1 minus u i minus 1 by 2 h. Correct? a minus sign here. Computed at n, all these are computed at n, I am going to put a bracket at time t. And this is computed by central difference scheme. So, u i plus 1 minus 2 u i plus u i minus 1 by s squared. Okay, so, compute this at, at, at n and then you can time step. So, implementation is easy, but you need to be careful. What should be your delta t and delta x? So, delta t now we, we learned all that. Okay, so, that now we have to put all that your knowledge into this. So, what should be your delta t? There are two scales in the problem, two time scales. One time scale comes from here, just from dimensional analysis. Okay, dimensional analysis is very, very useful. So, here I will get time scale coming from h, small h, s squared by nu, which is 
like what I may I erased it by square by nu that is coming from here and another delta t will come from h by u max. So, this front is moving you know this cars are moving. So, if I have a small h then I should be able to resolve my delta t so that the time a car takes the fast fastest car to cover that h my delta t must be smaller than that. Okay. So, these are two time scales and you should choose the smaller of the two. Okay. So, that is the prescription. Now, you cannot make h too small otherwise you will have lot of problem. Uh, uh, so, for your project you keep nu as order 1 which is not a good idea, but uh, let us keep order 1. I would like nu to be small ideally, but for this project we should put nu as order 1 and h is 10 minus 2. Okay. Now, okay, so this for delta t what should be delta x? Here delta x will be 0 because it is like there is a change in 0, zero uh, length. So, that is why it is not possible to solve this in a computer, but if I have this then I know from here to here. So, imagine that I am getting things like this. So, the width this width my h should be smaller than this. If my h is not smaller than this there is a problem I should be able to get at least my h should be smaller than this. If it is ideal this is the exact solution suppose my h must be smaller than this uh, peak of this and this position between this. Okay. So, there is a way to estimate what should be the and that again will come from the dimensional analysis. Uh, using nu and using the velocity max you can compute a dimension of length okay. and your h should be smaller than that. So, if you do it right then you can solve this equation you will get some solution like this like this is that clear. Okay. Now, all 1 d equations you can solve k p z equation, Burgers equation by finite difference scheme this is the way to do it. Uh, just one more remark I will just take 1 minute this is not good idea because this is unstable right I showed you central difference is unstable for this time is unstable. Okay. So, first time you should try this you should just get some solution uh, next time you should try what I told is upwind scheme. Upwind I told no if wave is going forward then you should do the derivative must be using the point at the back. Uh, this will be true for which one use which u i is a clear upwind that is stable. Now, for all the u i which is positive means this region I should take the derivative using the point within behind me, but what should I do here in this region? The wave is going to the in the negative direction. Now, I should use my point behind means forward direction. So, u i plus 1 minus u i. So, for this region I should put minus u i u i plus 1. So, if you use this idea then your code will be kind of behaving properly. 